Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another set of Java tutorials where we're going to talk about the graphical user interface in Java. So to do this tutorial, uh, hopefully you have already done some sort of beginner Java tutorials. Uh, Hopefully you know about what classes are, what objects are, what methods are, and you know about the different types of variables, the if statement, the different types of loops, for loop, while loop, things like that. If you have no idea what you just said, then please go and have a look at our Java programming with Eclipse tutorials and then come back and do the graphical user interface tutorial. Okay, so before we even start, uh, you guys should already know how to create your own project and you should know um, how to create new class files and put them in a default package. So if you have no idea how I just did this, then please do our other tutorials. Okay, so if you already have this, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another package. So we already have one package and what I'm going to do now is right click on the source folder and go to new package and I'm going to call this package GUI tutorial. and then inside my new package I'm going to right click new class and I'm gonna call this new class hello and I'm going to have a main method in that class okay so in this package I have a class called hello so ignore this default package because that's from another tutorial so GUI tutorial we have a um, class file called hello and in this class file I'm just going to make sure that it works so I'm going to type system.out.println quotation mark hello put a quotation could put a semicolon in the end and remember it's capital S for system and then if you run it it should say hello down the bottom so we're just checking to see that it can compile okay so now once you have a file that you can compile uh, what I'm going to do now is introduce you guys to some uh, system libraries that come with Java so a system library is just a set of uh, class files that are, have already been written that you can use uh, that comes with the Java programming language so if you open up this folder okay you should see all of these .jar files a .jar file you can think of as a .zip file basically it's just an archive it's just an archive full of packages so if you open up a .jar file by clicking on the arrow next to it you will see a list of packages and inside each package is a list of class files that you can use in your program so the first package that we're gonna look at is javax.swing okay if you open up this package here javax.swing you can see a list of class files that represent tools that, that we can use in our program um, that help us build an interface a graphical user interface so in order for us to use it we have to type in at the top just after this package statement we're gonna type in import space Java X dot swing dot star semicolon so that just means we're importing everything inside this package okay so we're going to use all of these classes later on well, not all of them but we can use whichever one we want to use 
So the first thing I'm going to do is instead of printing a line called hello, okay, I'm now going to create an object using this JFrame class. Okay, there's a class called JFrame. And I'm going to create an object that belongs to the JFrame class. So I'm going to, instead of this line, I'm going to type JFrame. Uh, frame so this variable name can be whatever you want right this is the type of the object this is the variable that references to that um, the object that we're going to create so uh, really you can call this um, Eddie if you want to okay so let's call our frame Eddie frame J frame Eddie frame equals new j frame so we're creating the object over here and then usually this is how we create an object but you can see inside the j frame object okay if you look inside this class file you can see that we can actually provide an argument inside the constructor um, and we can put a string in here called hello comma hello let's just put in hello okay so what this means is we're going to create a new frame uh, with hello written on the top okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to set the set this frame to be visible set visible equals true and you can see here the Eclipse IDE pretty much does everything for you so Eddie frame dot and let's make the size of it so set size comma and let's put in here um, 500 comma 500 okay so if I just stop here and let's save it and if we run the program now what happens is it comes up with a new window says hello on the top and inside here is obviously blank okay thanks for watching the first uh, GUI tutorial see you guys next time